In 2012, golf has been played in every corner of the world, producing countless memorable moments once again. We look back now at some of the standout performers of the year with the Golfing World Top 10 Players of the Year. She may have suffered a slump in form in the latter half of the year, but let's not forget that Yanni Seng started 2012 with three wins in her first five tournaments, including back-to-back -back wins in the Founders' Cup and Kia Classic. She's still world number one and has been for an incredible 95 weeks. And she deservedly makes our top ten. Even after her form dipped, Yanni continues to be a fabulous ambassador for the game. If you're going to win two tournaments in a year, then I guess you may as well win two majors. Having managed just one win in over 600 appearances on the regular European tour, Roger Chapman trebled his career wins tally in one season by winning the Senior US PGA and the Senior US Open. An incredible achievement for the 53-year-old who also topped the European Senior Tour Order of Merit, from journeyman to millionaire. Do you know how many children have qualified to play in the Masters next year? Well, the answer is one. Guan Tian Lang, a 14-year-old schoolboy from China, will become the youngest player in Masters history after qualifying with his victory at the Asia-Pacific Amateur Championship. A nerveless display by Guan, which secured his passport to Augusta National's iconic major. There are likely to be many more in the future, but China now has its first major winner. Shan Shan Feng amassed over a million dollars in a consistent season on the LPGA, with her highlight being her maiden victory at the Wegmans LPGA Championship. The Rookie of the Year of 2008 is starting to fulfil her promise. That major win could well be the springboard towards greater things for her. He was 28th in the world two years ago, but Justin Rose climbed to fourth this year. Tied for third at the US PGA, runner-up at the Dubai World Championship, but victorious at this year's WGC Cadillac Championship, he's going to be one of the favourites to break his major duck in 2013. But one of the highlights for the popular Englishman was his contribution to the European team's Ryder Cup victory at Medina. His win in the singles over Phil Mickelson proved to be the turning point on that momentous final day. Talking of Ryder Cup heroes, they don't come much more heroic than this man. He had a disappointing season up until Medina. So much so, Jose Maria Olazabal had to use one of his wildcard picks on the European stalwart. But since then, he's hardly looked back. Ian Poulter provided a one-man surge to wrest the momentum back from the US team and finished that week with a 100% record. He went on to win the WGC HSBC Champions in China. And in recognition of a stellar autumn, Ian Poulter is number five in our Player of the Year rankings. Only the middle ground for Tiger Woods this year, but the 14-time major champion who dominated the game for more than a decade is certainly on the comeback trail. He now seems over his personal problems and injuries, which led to that loss of form. No majors this year, but huge credit for the way he's battled back. He slipped out of the world's top 50 for a while, but clawed back to second, courtesy of three PGA Tour wins and a tie for third at the Open Championship. He remains a global golfing star. You come through the 2011 European Tour qualifying school, you win the first two events of the European Tour season. You add another two victories later in the year, including a win at the home of golf. You finish the season with more than two and a half million euro in prize money. You finish third in the Golfing World Player of the Year list. And your name is Brandon Grace. Congratulations to the South African who came from nowhere and got used to doing this. After the rising domination of Asian players on the LPGA Tour, America was desperate for a heroine. Stacey Lewis certainly stepped up to the plate. Eclipsing the likes of Christy Kerr and Paula Creamer, Stacey won some pride back for the Stars and Stripes. She enjoyed four tournament wins in the space of six months and rose to number three in the Rolex World Rankings. She may have missed out on top spot in the golfing world list, but perhaps she can go one better next year. At one, it's Rory McIlroy. What can you say about this young man that hasn't been said before? Well, you could say he's passed his best and he's rubbish at golf, and whilst it would be original, you'd clearly be wrong. 
the youngest multiple major winner since Seve, he pipped Jack Nicholas's record-winning margin at the USPGA this year. He won the money lists on both sides of the Atlantic and had the race to Dubai sewn up before the last event. There isn't time here to list any more of his incredible achievements, so let's just say that at 23, Rory has plenty more time to just let his golf do the talking. Congratulations, Rory. You are the Golfing World Player of the Year. He aims to stay at number one for some time yet. He's the fresh face of the game and perhaps the successor to Tiger Woods. There's no doubt he'll be hunting more majors in 2013.